This is one way that elements heavier than iron are synthesized. Since the source produces a low neutron density, transformation is gradual, taking thousands of years to progress to heavier elements. This is the slow neutron capture process, or the S process. The primary feature is that the neutron captures proceed slowly compared to typical beta decay lifetimes. Elements continue to capture neutrons as they evolve, finally reaching bismuth 209. Bismuth-209 is a very heavy atomic nucleus. Up to this point of the nuclear chart, many stable nuclei heavier than iron were formed by the S process. However, elements with masses heavier than 209, such as uranium and thorium, which are unstable but long-lived, cannot be created by this process. Bismuth-209 transforms to bismuth-210 through neutron capture and returns to lead-206 following beta and alpha decays. Therefore, elements heavier than bismuth-209 cannot be created via the S process. Still, heavier elements such as uranium and radium do exist. The question of where and how elements heavier than bismuth-209 formed remained unresolved for quite some time. A key to solving this question is the fact that unstable nuclei have short lifetimes. Because of their instability, explosive processes lasting for very short times are needed to create these elements. After many years of study, it was finally concluded that the answer was an immense catastrophic explosion. One possibility is a supernova. Supernova explosions occur as the result of a rapid drop in the two pressures supporting a star against gravitational contraction. In the iron core of a massive star, when the temperature rises to more than 5 billion degrees Celsius, high energy gamma rays collide with the iron and disintegrate it. At that moment, an enormous amount of energy is absorbed instantaneously. As a result, the pressure generated by the thermal motion of electrons drops. This triggers gravitational collapse of the iron core. As the collapse proceeds, the density increases. Electrons are then captured by the protons and nuclei, changing them into neutrons and neutrinos. The nuclei become more and more neutron rich. Since the number of electrons decreases, the electron degeneracy pressure, which primarily supported the star, drops accelerating the gravitational collapse. The photo disintegration and the electron captures combine to accelerate the collapse further. When the core reaches the density equal to that of the center of a nucleus, neutrons begin adhering to other neutrons. At this point, the collapse is no longer possible. Substances falling in from outer layers collide with this core of nuclear matter violently and are repelled, a reaction that produces strong shock waves. This is the phenomenon called implosion. When the density reaches a certain limit, repulsion counteracts the collapse, causing an explosion. Researchers discovered that this explosive phenomenon produces a high neutron density, resulting in element formation via the rapid process or R process. A huge number of neutrons is rapidly absorbed, thereby greatly increasing the mass. The rapid increase in neutron number results in the formation of uranium and radium in about one second. This is the R process. Here, neutron captures occur much more rapidly than beta decays. Following the R process, the unstable nuclei containing large numbers of neutrons undergo successive beta decays and give rise to atomic nuclei with larger atomic numbers. Uranium-238 the heaviest naturally formed atomic nucleus is produced this way.